Hey guys, it's your girl Jessica Carter, and for one of my school assignments, I had to share something that I really enjoyed, so I thought I shared it with y'all. The Passion of Art by Justin Noel Elliott. Now, let's start. When I was six years old, I developed a mighty passion for art, and I have been creating ever since. And here's how it all started. Every weekend, my mom would work at the Jockey Lot in Anderson. She purchased me some art materials so that I could have something entertaining to work on. Most of the time, I never used it because I didn't know how to. But this time, I made a conclusion with myself that I was going to begin today. So I gathered my art materials, and she didn't know how serious I would take it until we arrived. I took majority of the space on the table. As I observed my art materials fall into position, I accelerated with curiosity. As I arranged my hand to the canvas, I began to let it out. My creativity and imagination flowed like a stream. And that's when I realized I could say things with color and shapes that I couldn't say no other way. Things I had no words for. Art is not what you see, it's how you may undersee it. I felt that I could express myself more with just a stroke of a paintbrush. As time flew by, my art transformed into my very own business. In 2020, I started my YouTube channel and Facebook page so that I could inspire young artists just like me. And that's when I earned the title just as the creator. I was the creator that created artwork and held pride in it. I was very committed to my love of art. I was very thrilled to let people see me paint live and connect with new people. We remained dedicated and eventually got our very own store in Anderson Mall near the food court. I cannot believe that we had made it this far. This was an extremely massive deal. Not only I was selling my artwork, people were purchasing it and hanging it inside their homes. I felt extremely extraordinary being the kid that works at the mall with her mom. I created the art and my mom sold her small essentials around the store. As a team, we were a good balance. The reason my mom shifted us to Anderson Mall is because she wanted to expose me to something that would be my starting foundation and she wanted me to know that it was possible. And it is. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. One of my best abstract pieces is an art piece of a bright turquoise skate. I believe this is one of the best of the abstract because the energetic colors make the painting stand out from the ordinary. And one of my favorite realistic paintings is a piece of a brown fist in protest. I believe this is one of the best realistic because the red paint dripping represents the lives that were unfortunately taken by police officers, which makes the painting striking and holds power. When it got to towards Christmas time, I decided that I was going to create an African piece of art for my dad's female friend because I wanted to surprise her with something unexpected. And that's what I was going to do. I've been in her house plenty of times to know that she admires African's art style and culture. So I was planning to create one for her. I got out my art materials, colorful art apron, and a plain canvas. I started to record a new YouTube video for Christmas. So I called it the gift of creativity. Every year I give the people that I love most a piece of my creativity because that's certainly much better than purchasing a present. I went to Google so that I could have a good reference of what I was going to be painting. When I found the right image, I began to outline what I saw. Next, I began to move on to the next step of the painting and build on the color and detail that brought the painting to life. Soon before you know it, the masterpiece is completed. I felt so accomplished and confident. I had Christmas themed gift wrapping paper at my dad's house. So when she wasn't there, I wrapped the present in wrapping paper. And to make it extra remarkable, I included a fancy shiny golden colored bow. I knew for sure that she was going to cherish it. 
And on Christmas Day, the look on her face said it all. She went on and on about how beautiful and uncrushably detailed it was. She was certainly impressed with my artistry. I was so thankful she enjoyed it. As months went by, a new year arrived and a major deal happened in my life. Each year at the Civic Center located in Anderson, the people start to collaborate together to manifest an unforgettable, remarkable event to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And this was going to be my first time being able to be there. I was so eagerly looking forward to it. Security guards stood at the door when we walked inside the building for protection. There was a section where breakfast and drinks were supplied for the visitors. There was a large group of people. When everybody took a seat, the event began. A ballad dancer performed to Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday. The way his arms opened and the movement of his legs. He didn't just perform. He made the audience understand the meaning behind the song. Sorrow, suffering, and unacceptance. Yeah, I stuttered, but it's okay because everybody makes mistakes. As time went on, so did the event. They represented what black brilliance was phenomenally. The event was so informative and inspiring. When we exited the large room, I saw a woman that was giving Martin Luther King shirts in honor of the day named after him. So I went up to her and inquired if I could have one so that I could wear it tomorrow. She agreed and handed me a shirt. It suited me perfectly. I turned around and saw my mom talking to a woman that had a fashion of a professional. Then, something totally unpredictable happened. My mom told me that my artwork was going to be featured on Martha Luther King Day tomorrow. That's when the anxiousness washed over me like an ocean over the seashore. If there are this many people at this event, then how many people will be at the next one tomorrow? No thank you, I told her. Me and her eyes met, and that's when my mom was giving me the look. She grinned at the woman and told her we will do it. Millions of thoughts were racing through my brain. This was going to be extremely difficult. When we left the event, I asked my mom why she would say yes when she didn't even ask me first. And that's when she told me, because I know you can do it. This is exciting. I took a deep breath to release the tightness in my chest. I messaged everyone on my contacts about what was going to happen. Everyone was so encouraging and that provided comfort to my nerves. To be extra prepared, I wrote a speech to say at the event. The next morning, my family were celebrating the event that was going to be happening. If you paid any attention, you would know that I said something about my art piece of a bright turquoise skate and vibrant, energetic background. Well, the day before Martin Luther King Day, I had just finished creating that masterpiece. That was going to be my art piece that I was going to be presenting. I was awaiting with enthusiasm to the point where I fantasized about this lifetime opportunity. My mom brought some of my other pieces so that I could persuade people to visit our store in the Anderson Mall to see more of my artwork. The woman that gave me the opportunity to showcase my artistic ability was there waiting. When she saw us, she transferred us to the office. And then all of a sudden, something abrupt happened. She explained that a well-known celebrity named Darren Hitson was going to be at the celebration. And it was a requirement to give him one of my favorite works of art for no price. I could not believe my ears. They thought that I was going to give them one of my artwork that I took my own very time on just to give it away. No thanks, I told her. Eventually, my family taught me out of the choice somehow, and I chose my favorite art piece. 
I was heartbroken that I was going to give it away so easily. They led us to a private area where photos were taken. They had even purchased a photo backdrop and a photographer. I stood in line with my vibrant art piece that was soon going to be given away. My mom told me not to be unhappy because this was going to be a huge opportunity. While I was standing in line, I memorized what I was going to say. When it was our turn, I introduced myself and he introduced himself as well. He actually seemed like a pretty nice man. When I presented him the masterpiece, he just stood in shock and amazement. He started to compliment me about how stunning and striking it was. And that's when I released my anger and happiness came instead. We took some photos and that's when the occasion began. Since this was such a big deal, I took a lot of pictures so that I could have memories of this moment and so did my mom. The audience turned out not to be larger than I thought it was going to be. And it was actually the same size. Darren Henson called me up stage and I didn't feel nervous at all. He introduced me to the audience and the art that I created and presented everyone my masterpiece. The audience oohed and awed. They were certainly impressed with my artistry and I was thankful. And then he pronounced to me that he was going to be paying for me for my artwork. And I gave him a big hug. A week later, I found that I was in the newspaper and he even tagged me in his Facebook message. I burst with exhilaration. If it wasn't for my mom supporting me through my artistic journey, I don't know where I would be without her. The word is your canvas. Make it beautiful.